Now in order to use the Azure Cloud Shell for the first time, you'll need to perform a couple of steps. First, select the Cloud Shell icon at the top, then you'll need to pick which Cloud Shell you want, whether you're going to use Bash or PowerShell. Now in this case, we're going to use PowerShell. Now we don't have any storage mounted, so we'll click on the Show Advanced settings so we can create ourselves a storage account. Pick the West US region and the TechSnips Demo Resource Group, and we'll give it a name. Now in this case, we'll call it TS Cloud Share Storage. Now note, these have to be in lowercase and numbers only. You can't use uppercase or special characters. And we'll create our file share to be TSCS file share. And click Create Storage. And we'll give that a moment to finish creating. And there, our storage has been created. And we're just waiting for our account to be initialized for the Cloud Shell. And the Azure Cloud Shell is ready for use. Let's just give it a quick test here. We'll just do a get Azure RM resource group and we'll make it nice and neat and we'll do a select object and we'll just pick the resource group name and the location. And there we go. Azure Cloud Shell is working and we're able to get a list of our resource groups. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.